Pregnant waitress gets attacked by a mom police have to arrest her in front of all her children. Some mornings it seems like the whole world is out to get you. Even the birds chirping sounds a little bit too high-pitched, your coffee was just a little bit too bitter, and the ride to work seemed just a little bit too long. On mornings like this, you just know something bad is coming up. Unfortunately, Jennifer Green was having one of those mornings. Not only did two staff members call in sick at the Mexican fast food restaurant where she worked, but she was also seven months pregnant and the baby was feisty that day. Jennifer didn't have the luxury of just rolling back in bed, especially on a day when the restaurant was so short-staffed. She had to suck it up and go in for work. When she got to work she found that they were slightly behind schedule. It was all hands on deck as the staff worked double time to meet up with their 11 a.m. opening time. Just when it seems like things were getting back on track and they might just meet up with the deadline, a Karen walked in. Her day couldn't possibly get any worse, right? Well, her name wasn't Karen, but she sure behaved like a Karen. For those not familiar with the term, Karen refers to a middle-aged white woman who believes she is much more entitled or privileged than she actually is. The origin of the term isn't quite clear, but it has become quite popular on social media in recent times. Karens are usually depicted as blonde, white, sporting a bob cut, and usually demand to see the manager over unnecessary things. The Karen marched in through the employee side door, like seriously, 10 minutes before the opening time. Trailing behind her was a group of teenagers. Jennifer felt a premonition that her day might be getting a lot worse, but tried to keep things under control. Sorry, we don't open until 11, Jennifer told Karen as she sauntered towards the counter oblivious to everything but her phone. She thrust something at Jennifer and promptly went to sit down at a table. Realizing that Karen had thrust a credit card at her, Jennifer tried to get her attention once more. Karen merely called through the window let them get whatever they want. She was referring to the group kids who had come in with her. At this point, Jennifer realized that this must be the same Karen who the staff regularly complained about. She came in every Sunday morning with a group of teenagers and was known for terrorizing the staff. This was definitely going to be a long morning. Jennifer tried to take charge of the situation. Jennifer promised that she wouldn't let this ruin her day, so she tried to take charge of the situation. Company policy demands that customers be present at the register when their payment is being made via credit card transactions for their safety and that of the company. I need you to be at the register when I ring it up, ma'am. Company policy, Jennifer called out to Karen. When Karen refused to acknowledge her or even take her eyes off her phone, Jennifer decided to head over to her table. As she headed towards the table she could feel the baby kicking, and this only served to make things worse. Most customers cut her some slack when they saw the growing baby bump, but Karen seemed oblivious to the nuisance she was causing. She said a silent prayer then this was all a misunderstanding, and that Karen will come around once things are explained to her calmly. Jennifer couldn't have been more disappointed in her response. That's when things really started to get ugly. What part of they can get whatever they want did you not understand, she fired at Jennifer. I don't care what you charge me as long as I get a receipt, she said with a look of pure contempt. To top things off she ended the tirade with don't interrupt me again, or I'll get you fired, as she waved Jennifer away. After her hectic morning plus the baby's kicking, Jennifer was practically at her breaking point. With tears welling up in her eyes she decided she wouldn't let Karen see her cry. If it's trouble Karen wanted, it's trouble she's going to get. As per company policy, customers are required to be physically present at the register when their credit card is being charged. This helps prevent fraud and disputes between clients and the restaurant. But it was also just common sense. If something was to happen to the card while in possession of the company, they might be held liable. Also, the card owner may be charged with negligence by the credit card issuer. Most importantly it makes sure what occurred next never happens. The group of teenagers had been waiting patiently while the whole exchange was taking place. So Jennifer went ahead and did exactly as she was told. She took their orders and served them all their food. After serving their meals, she charged Karen through her credit card. She brought over the receipt, careful not to disturb her. Then Jennifer decided it was time for her to take a little break. 
She told the staff to come to get her when Karen seized the bill. She needed a break desperately. Jennifer knew it would only be a matter of time before Karen saw the bill. She expected a huge reaction from her, anyone would react if they say a bill that large. As much as she wanted to stick around and watch the saga unfold, she desperately needed a break. The events of that morning had been almost too much for her to handle. She felt drained physically, mentally, and emotionally. All she needed was a few minutes of peace and quiet. As Jennifer settled in for her quick break in the break room with a cup of coffee in her hand, she noticed that she could watch the whole thing unfold right through the CCTV monitor. She kicked back her chair, took a sip of her coffee, and waited. She watched as Karen finally took a look at the receipt. She saw her face go through various expressions, first surprise, then disbelief, before finally settling on rage. I want to speak with your manager, Karen screamed. Jennifer calmly watched the angered woman grow more irritated by the minute. She took a final sip of her coffee, straightened out her apron, and put on her game face. It was time for action. As she stepped out the first thing she noticed was that Karen had turned an unflattering shade of crimson and was getting redder by the minute. Well, her complexion was unlikely to improve anytime soon, especially after hearing what Jennifer has to say next. Walking confidently up to Karen, she composed herself, squared her shoulders, and got ready to make the big reveal. That's me, she said calmly on the manager. Karen slammed the receipt on the table and started mumbling through a mouthful of food. Jennifer couldn't make out anything she was saying, but one word rang out clearly, refund. Jennifer simply took a look at the receipt, and it was clear to anybody who saw it why Karen reacted the way she did. In all her time working at the grill, Jennifer has seen some pretty strange things, but this had to be a first. The receipt before Karen was easily the longest that she had ever seen. It looked more like the kind of receipt you get at a drugstore that's crammed with discounts. Unfortunately, Karen wasn't expecting any discounts. This receipt was filled with all the expensive orders and sides the kids had made while she was on her phone. To top it off the figure at the bottom was enough to quake even the most stout-hearted of people. At the bottom of the receipt was a whopping total of $250. Apparently, the kids weren't just hungry, but they had quite expensive tastes too. By this point, Karen was practically livid and was demanding that they refund her money. Jennifer tried to calmly explain that she could not possibly refund that level of inventory. It was against company policy and would probably get her fired. She told Karen that she had requested several times for her to be physically present at the register when the charges were made. That's when Karen flipped out. By that time the restaurant had started to fill up. Karen was causing a commotion by holding up the line and arguing with Jennifer. Several of the other customers tried to calm her down, but she wasn't having any of it. Even though she was secretly enjoying seeing Karen flustered like that, it was time to calm things down. The situation was causing a scene and holding up business. As Jennifer tried to calm Karen down things suddenly got out of control. As Jennifer stepped forward to try to calm Karen down before things took a turn for the worse. The angry Karen suddenly pushed Jennifer as hard as she could. Time seemed to stand still as the pregnant waitress toppled backward. From the look on the face of Karen, she knew that she had made a big mistake. No matter what her issue with that receipt was, she should not have laid her hands on a staff member, and especially a pregnant one. Luckily for Jennifer and Karen, one of the other staff members was able to catch Jennifer right before she hit the ground. She absorbed the full impact of the fall and probably saved Jennifer with her quick thinking. The entire restaurant let out a collective sigh of relief that a serious accident had been averted. Now they all turned to face Karen, whose expensive bill issues suddenly seemed forgotten. From the look on her face, she knew she was in trouble. Suddenly tall men stepped forward from the crowd. They were regulars at the grill and as it turned out were police officers who were off duty at the moment and came to enjoy a quiet lunch. Though Jennifer didn't want to press charges for the sake of the kids, the officers insisted that they had just witnessed an attack on a pregnant woman. This qualifies for aggravated assault, and they had to arrest Karen. Talk about a twist. Jennifer was given the day off with full pay by the regional manager, while Karen got hauled off in handcuffs. 
This was definitely not how either of them expected their day to turn out. Every day we go through certain situations that test us. Remember to always be polite to anyone you meet, especially those in the service industry. Always try to keep your cool, no matter how irritated you get, and never lay your hands on another person in anger. The main character in our next story is quite similar to Jennifer. She's also pregnant and working in a restaurant. But something very different happens between her and the customer that results in her chasing him into the parking lot keep reading to find out more. In our fast-paced environment, anger, outrage, and sadness are all too familiar. Most people tend to live their lives on their own and give little to no consideration to others. Many have already lost their faith in humanity and often find it hard to accept goodwill from others. However, there are times when the smallest acts of kindness show us that there is indeed hope left for everyone. In mid-February, a pregnant waitress who worked at a busy diner didn't expect that she would experience the positive effects of unexpected kindness from a customer, least of all from a police officer. The lunch was simple, the service went on like a routine, and the cop was charged $8.75 total for his meal. However, it was only after he left that the pregnant waitress discovered what the cop had done for her. It left her in tears. Courtney English is a 23-year-old woman living in Camden County, New Jersey. She is a cheerful woman who has a smile ready for everyone. She is also industrious and hardworking. Her winning attitude is what made her great and well appreciated in her job. For almost two years, Courtney worked on an on and off basis at Lamp Post Diner in Clementon, New Jersey. She was never ashamed of her work and had other part-time jobs that made her working schedule tight. Even when Courtney got pregnant, she wanted all the more to take her shifts in the diner so that she would be able to make ends meet. Unlike most women who tend to stop working when they become pregnant, Courtney knew that would never work in her situation. She had had some rough times before and she needed to save money for the delivery of her baby. She chose to stay committed to her job as a waitress. Somehow, she had gotten used to the job and although it was always busy at the diner, the pleasant co-workers there, who she already treated as her friends, made everything more comfortable and smooth for her. Moreover, she had gotten used to her regular customers, all of whom were excited for her. Courtney's life was an open book to her friends and co-workers. She fell in love and was excited to build a future with a man she had met at one of her odd jobs. They lived together at her boyfriend's small flat and there, they began to dream about a family. Even though she was young, she felt sure she had found the love of her life. Despite her father's advice about not being aggressive and impulsive, Courtney was deeply in love. She felt as if she was more than ready to face the world. However, it seemed that some good things in life were never meant to last for her. They had been only living together for a few months when her now ex-boyfriend started showing his true colors. He had had some dirty dealings in his jobs and couldn't keep his faithfulness to their relationship. She had forgiven him the first time he was caught. However, it soon became a hobby for the abusive man. The time Courtney finally realized she had enough was also around the same time she discovered she was pregnant with his baby. Hoping that it would be the start of something new, she excitedly told him about her condition. However, he saw her pregnancy as the bomb that shattered their dreams into pieces. When Courtney realized she had fallen in love with the wrong man, she had no choice but to leave him. She was pregnant at the moment and only had some part-time jobs to live by. She was only 20 years old, and it was hard for her to swallow her pride, but she soon found herself on her father's doorsteps. Seeing his daughter helpless and crying, Brian Cardigan didn't have second thoughts of taking her back, even after they had argued. Courtney would always be his little girl, and he promised himself that he would always be her knight in shining armor. Thanks to his love and guidance, Courtney found herself back on track again. Typically, a pregnant woman is advised to rest and avoid physical activities, especially during her third trimester. As a waitress, Courtney was well aware that her job was physically demanding. However, she had no choice as she needed all the money from it. She was determined to stay at the diner until the end of February, even as her pregnancy was in its eighth month. Aside from the risks she was taking every day at the busy diner, Courtney was not ashamed to admit that she was still living with her father. She couldn't afford to rent her own apartment, at least, not at the moment. 
All she could think of was to deliver her baby safely and healthily into the world. For her, other plans for the future could wait. Lamp Post Diner is a small but famous destination for locals. The food is delicious and always served fresh. Moreover, the menu is wallet-friendly. Like any other food hub in the area, the diner has its own regular customers. Every day, Courtney expects to see them, and they catch up with one another. The atmosphere within the diner is friendly, and the people can easily see they are dining with family. Because of this warm environment, Courtney had no trouble working hard and was used to giving her best smile to everyone. Since Courtney is naturally friendly and courteous to everyone, the regulars are happy to have a chat with her whenever there's a chance. She always wears a beautiful smile, and she genuinely cares for everyone. Soon enough, she developed friendships with her regular customers, and they have the habit of updating each other about their personal lives. Of course, most of them were excited for her and her baby as well. Although Courtney had so much to do every day, the thought of becoming a mother crossed her mind often. Mostly, she would look at the families dining together and imagine what her daughter would look like. At times, there would be a pang of pain whenever she thought of her ex-boyfriend, not because she was still in love with him, but because Courtney believed she wouldn't be able to give her daughter a complete family. But as fast as that thought crossed her mind, she would also remember her loving father and her supportive friends who always assured her that everything would be alright. But she knew that ultimately, she had the sole responsibility for her future. That knowledge gave her the strength and the courage to go on with her life day by day. The days seemed to fly for the mother-to-be as she was always busy at the diner. Whenever her schedule was light, she would talk to her baby and smile at the thought of seeing her soon. She couldn't wait for her due date. Her manager at the diner, as well as her co-workers, had been very supportive. As much as possible, they gave the pregnant woman lighter tasks, so that the safety of her baby would not be compromised. They knew how hard-working Courtney was and she deserved all the help she could get. Although they were not able to help her financially, they knew they were making it a little bit smoother for the soon-to-be mother. However, Courtney had no idea that before she was able to file for her maternity leave, something unforgettable would happen at the diner. Friday is the start of the busiest days at the Lamp Post Diner. Customers come flocking at the end of the week and Courtney had to move fast but efficiently. Since she knew exactly what her regular customers wanted, she often found the time to entertain newer diners. It was a Friday when a police officer stopped by at the diner for lunch. Although he was not a regular customer, Courtney knew that it wasn't the first time the cop had entered their place. Since the other waitresses were busy, she went on her way and politely waited on the policeman with her most cheerful smile. He seemed to be in a rush when he gave out his order. The man in question was a Voorhees Township police officer. Aside from the uniform that gave away his job, the other waitress told Courtney that he came to the diner to grab something to eat every now and then. He ordered a salad and a glass of water and waited for his order patiently. Since Courtney was naturally efficient with her job, the cop's order was delivered to his table in no time at all. He muttered a word of thanks and started to eat right away, looking oblivious to his surroundings. So when Courtney moved over to the next table for a quick chat with her regular customers, she had no idea that the cop's ears were still on her. The family at the other table next to the Voorhees Township police officer was close to Courtney. They casually asked about her pregnancy and even advised her to take her maternity leave already. Her belly was already large and her customers were growing quite concerned about her situation. In a determined voice, the pregnant waitress told her regulars that she planned to work until the end of the month. The doctor had given her a due date of April 1st and she needed all the shifts she could get. It was a casual talk for Courtney, and she had no idea that the man from the other table was intently listening to every word she said. Perhaps it's true that cops are always in a rush. It didn't take that long for the police officer to finish his salad. He promptly gestured to Courtney for the bill. His simple lunch had cost a total of $8.75. Courtney took the receipt from the register and brought it to his table. He was poker-faced as he handed the bill back to Courtney. She thanked him and wished him a good day as he left the diner. As part of the protocol, she took the receipt to the cashier and went on to continue with her job. 
But within a minute, she was informed of some surprising news. When the cashier showed Courtney what had been written on the receipt, Courtney had to do a double take. In the tip section, the cop had written $100. At the side of the paper, he also scribbled a personal message that made Courtney's eyes water in an instant. His order hadn't even cost him $10, and it was a real surprise to see such generosity. Since the cop was only gone for only a few minutes, Courtney ran out of the diner and checked the parking lot. She looked for a cop car and scanned the vehicles leaving the premise. However, she failed to spot a generous customer. When she returned inside, the real essence of what had happened came to her all at once. Aside from the $100 tip, the cop had left a sweet message. It was not unusual for the customers, especially her regulars, to give her extra tips every now and then. However, this was the largest so far, and the thought that it came from someone who seldom visited the diner was quite strange to the pregnant waitress. But aside from the surprising act of generosity, it was the note that baffled Courtney's mind. She tried to remember what happened earlier. She was sure she had only asked for the cop's order, delivered him his meal, and attended to him only when he had asked for the bill. There had been no casual conversation between them. For a moment, Courtney thought it was just a random act of kindness. But what about the personal note? Courtney read the note again and again. It read, enjoy you are first, you will never forget it. Then, in an instant, the realization hit her. She remembered talking to her regular customers on the next table about how excited she was for her first baby. She even bragged that she would have a beautiful baby which she planned to name Kaylee. Perhaps the police officer had overheard the conversation and detected the genuine excitement in her voice. Courtney also remembered saying that she would soon be out of work and was taking advantage of every penny she could get in the meantime. Even without having a direct conversation with the officer, she was pretty sure that the mysterious man had felt she needed extra resources. All the staff in the diner were close to each other, and they were extremely happy for Courtney. They witnessed how she struggled to continue working even when her belly was too big and heavy for the job. Moreover, they knew how she valued her role and her customers. Well-deserved tip is what they said. But for Courtney, it's about more than just the money. She was deeply moved by the thought that even total strangers could extend their help to someone in need without making them feel less of a person. She was so happy she ran and cried to her boss. When Courtney told her boss about the amazing thing that had happened, her manager confirmed to her that the police officer was indeed a regular customer. Perhaps, Courtney hadn't noticed him all along because she has her own set of regular customers she attended to on a day-to-day -day basis. Moreover, people come and go, and they were always busy at the diner. She was quite ashamed at the thought that she had failed to notice him, while the cop had only needed a few minutes to know she was in need. However, the information she gathered from Mark Petitti, the diner's manager, had made her happy. It meant she had a chance to thank the man for his generosity at some point. In excitement, she called her father, who she knew would be glad to hear the good news as well. When Courtney took her break, she snapped a photo of the receipt and texted her father. She had always been a daddy's girl, and she wanted him to know how much a stranger had made her happy that day. On the other line of the phone call, Brian couldn't help but smile about the random act of kindness the anonymous cop had shown his daughter. He could clearly sense how much it had made an impact. In his mind, he already knew what he wanted to do to show his sincerest appreciation. Personally, Brian had some bad feelings for police officers. He knew some of them treated other people like dirt and took advantage of their position to power trip. They knew they were capable of enforcing authority, they had guns, and sometimes, it didn't end in a nice way for innocent people. However, even if police reputation was heavily marred on his eyes, Brian was aware that not all of them were the same. As a father who was a witness to the struggle his daughter was facing, Brian knew how the act had impacted her in more ways than other people could imagine. So he felt determined to thank the cop who made him realize an essential lesson in life. Since Courtney was not able to personally thank the cop, Brian asked for her permission to post the receipt, as well as the uplifting story of kindness. He wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to express his gratitude towards the officer's selfless act and generosity. 
In his most sincere words, Brian shared his amazement and appreciation for what happened that day at the diner. The picture had a long and meaningful caption. According to him, he just typed in what he really felt. Within minutes, the heartwarming story had gone viral. In a time when there is so much negativity surrounding police officers, Courtney's story was a refreshing and inspiring moment for many. In a lengthy message, Brian summed up the lesson he had learned from Courtney's experience. A part of the post read, Yes, I am sure there are some bad apples, but most of them are just doing their jobs, they deal with the worst of society every day and have to keep going back every day and deal with it all over again. They risk their lives each day just to do their job of trying to enforce the laws that they didn't make. Brian Cardigan had no idea that his Facebook post about the generous tip along with the heartfelt note would shed a positive light on the way people see police officers. In no time at all, positive reactions came flooding to his feed. It might have been a small deed for others, however, it matters to a lot of people in their locality. Brian was extremely proud of his daughter who was doing everything it took to be able to provide for her own daughter. She would be becoming a single mom in a month as her ex-boyfriend who impregnated her had left her just like that. Although he wanted to make a move and fight for his daughter's rights, Brian chose to respect Courtney's decision. The mother-to-be did not want anything more from the spineless man who had ditched her when she accidentally got pregnant. Somehow, Brian knew the irresponsible man would just be an additional burden for her. So when he found out that someone had made her incredibly happy, it meant something to him. The grateful father also called the anonymous cop a wonderful person. He shared that the lovely message, as well as the generous tip, had not only made his daughter's day, but even her entire year. Another part of the post read, I don't know you Mr. Police Officer, but you made my little girl cry and made her year. Thank you, I always had the utmost respect for officers, but you went above and beyond not just an officer, but a beautiful human being. God bless. With Courtney's story suddenly going viral, it had opened the door for other people to share their positive interactions with their local police department as well. It turned out that many cops are still committed to their values. Although the other stories were not as exciting as Courtney's, it doesn't mean they are not worth sharing at all. The incredible thing that happened at Lamp Post Diner one Friday is another example of how small acts of kindness can result in positive energy being passed on from one person to another. Soon enough, the media had taken note of what happened and decided to find out who the viral cop was. However, the officer chose to remain anonymous. Leading news outlets in New Jersey had set up interviews with Courtney as well as with Brian. It was such an excellent opportunity for the mysterious cop to take the entire compliment to himself. However, by refusing to appear on interviews, he proved once again that the act of kindness was a selfless one and not just for the show. Of course, Courtney's manager had given her the name of the generous police officer. But since he was reluctant to take the credit, the grateful waitress decided to thank him personally and in private. She knew one day she would see him again at the diner. Already, she felt excited to share with him exciting news about her baby. Just like her, Courtney was aware that a police officer in their area was not entitled to a hefty salary. The cop who had eaten at the diner was evidently not filthy rich and yet, he decided to share some of his blessings. According to Cardigan, their reaction was not sparked by the amount of the tip, but rather the humanity of the action that moved them the most. The cop had seen Courtney as a struggling young girl who worked in a busy diner. She was pregnant and he knew it wasn't easy to stand with that kind of weight on her. But despite her condition, she still managed to serve everyone with a genuine smile on her face. Courtney had already filed for her maternity leave, but she still had a few weeks to wait for her due date. Of course, the $100 tip was not enough to solve all of her financial worries. However, she knew that whatever happened in the future, there would always be signs that every day is filled with hope and life's surprises. After her delivery, Courtney will be able to take six to eight weeks off work, which isn't long for a new mother. However, she knows that once her daughter is born, she will always have a source of strength and determination to carry on.